What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, I want to show you a really cool uh, kind of plugin slash pack. If you guys are going to be making videos for YouTube or for your music videos, whatever the case may be, this is going to be a mega graphics pack. So this will contain a lot of graphics that you guys can use specifically for Final Cut Pro 10 for any of your media, whether it be pictures or video, and whether you're going to be um, you know, uploading it for YouTube or Instagram, then this is the right pack for you. And uh, if you guys want to check out the pack, I will leave everything linked down in the description. This video is sponsored, so just letting you guys know. Now, uh, this mega pack does contain about more than 2,000 elements, which is kind of pretty insane, actually. And I'll show you guys a brief overview of what it is. I'm not going to show you everything because that will take a very long time. So <laughs> I'm just going to try and save your time as you know as much as I can and also show you guys um, everything you guys can get from this pack. So, so first, I'm going to drag the video into the timeline so you guys can see what I'm working with. And this is just a quick little video here. It's a royalty-free video. I push play. It's just, um, I don't know, this girl like taking photos or something. But if you want to sp you know spice up the video, then all we got to do is go onto the titles and generators where you will be able to find all of the elements once you install it. So it's very simple to install. I'll leave it down in the description. So just follow the path where you can copy and paste those and it should install into Final Cut Pro 10. So I just installed the fonts just to make everything work very well. If you guys go onto the titles and we go to the top and we go to the Final Cut Pro 10 YouTube pack, they also have a YouTube pack with like a bunch of animations that are already done for you. So all you gotta do is just drag and drop it onto any of your media. This is what it is. Um, we have the one of these here and you can swap out of course the little drop zone areas for your uh, profile picture and change all the text and stuff but that's pretty much what these are they're just very simple animations but very effective actually in uh, you know increasing engagement on YouTube and, and Instagram so these are the ones for primarily for YouTube but you can use different ones as well you also have an end screen here to add to the end of your video you have everything here that you really need for you know, in, in case of lower thirds, stuff like that, you just simply drag and drop, and then you can change a lot of the stuff here. So for like, let's say for, I think this is Snapchat, we can move this by clicking and dragging it like towards the left, bottom left here, clicking on done, and you can change whether if you want it to build in, if I push play, you can see it just pops up. But if we have this checked, which I highly recommend you do, it just makes it a lot more interesting than it will look like this. Keep in mind, if you move it down, that this will be cropped so you want to move this up a bit just so you don't you know just so it stays all in that frame so uh, once you're there you can change the color of the icons and everything within that element so you can change the gradient of this yellow I think it would make sense to keep it yellow because it's snapchat so I'm gonna leave it how it is but you can change everything here to the stroke of the lines here if you go over here onto this little text property you can change your actual uh, well the text obviously so you can change it from saying to your channel to King Tuts Pro and if you highlight the text you can change the font to a different type of font if you don't like it I, I mean I think it looks great but if you think you found a better font you can use that you can change the font weight you can do bold you can change the color of it if you go on under face and you go from black you can change that to white move the slider there and you can do white it's going to be just one of them of course we have other ones here if we go back to the youtube pack you have a bunch here we have like an opener so you can this can be kind of like a transition if you wanted to use it that way you could again you can change all the colors and all the text and stuff you also have sound effects as well so if you wanted to kind of make a little sound for whatever reason, you can do that. So here we have drop zone, there's no source. So if I quickly import like an image here, if I find one, I'm gonna click on import selected. I know I click on the source, you click on this on the down arrow and you select an image that you wanna use, click on apply clip. Now if you go back into the timeline, you can see that it's really zoomed in and we can change that by going into scale and just make that smaller. And then you can change where this is, you know, where this is uh, located. So we're gonna make that a little bigger maybe. Uh, we will leave everything how it is and we'll just change the text for now. You click on the title, you can change this to something else like uh, King Tuts Pro. Published, uh, if we click on this again, you can change that. Just click on the, te on the text and you can change it to, and um, you can change join if you wanted to, you can do subscribe. Okay, so once you're inside of this folder, you can go into the, I think it's in typography and other, and you can go into the, 
let's see, it should be under the sound effects. So if I go back, transition effects, here we go, sound effects. And now you have all these sound effects as well as new updates. So um, you guys can get updates, I believe. So if you guys go into the glitch, um, you have glitch sound effects here, which, is pretty, which are pretty cool in my opinion. So we can do like a pop-up. You, you can preview these as well. Just hover over them and push play. I kind of like this one. So we'll go with ping two. I'm gonna turn back down the volume <laughs> since I was a bit loud. So you would select it and just drag this to where you want this to begin, which I think is here, here. So I'm gonna drag that, move it to the left, push play. Very, very simple. Something like that will look kind of nice. So, you know, again, like I said, all of the um, links will be down in the description along with how to install the pack. Now, if you guys do end up wanting to purchase the pack, then you guys can buy a uh, subscription license, which will give you access to millions of creative assets uh, from, you know, graphic to video to web templates uh, and music, you know, music tracks, stock photos, stuff like that for only $16.50 a month, which is kind of nice. It's a good deal. Um, alongside that, you guys do get 50% off of this pack, which is kind of nice, especially with the whole holidays, Black Friday, uh, thing going on. So in this case, it's going to be Cyber Monday sale. So it starts on the 24th of November, which is today. Well, when, when I'm recording this, but you're seeing this on the Wednesday, which is the 25th, which will give you guys until December 2nd, 2020 to try out this pack for 50% off, which is kind of nice. So I would suggest you guys try this out. I mean, you guys can try so many things. If you're going to, if you guys are going to be starting off a YouTube channel, then this pack pretty much contains everything you really need. Um, so here I'm just using this share button. You can make this smaller, click done, push play, and now you have something that looks like that. Super simple, no animations or keyframing is needed with this, which is kind of cool. Now this is just the YouTube pack. I mean, there's other things that you can play with. You have like neon, neon line, uh, neon line presets. Well, that's a big mouthful. <laughs> neon line presets, and these are kind of cool. So if I were to go around here, you can actually add like kind of like those scribble effects that we've been seeing with like music videos um, of dance dancing music videos and you can just drag it and push play so you can do something that makes sense of course I mean like right here she might take a picture so I might want to use something like this here and I go to transform I can move this and scale it down maybe go around here and click done so now if I push play you have something that looks like that. Very simple little animation, but it's just those things that really spice up your video. You know what I mean? But you also have, you know, in this category here, we have typography and other ones. This is where most of the pack is actually located. You have a bunch of titles here. Um, alongside, you also have gradients that I've installed in under the generators as well as transitions um, that you guys can use. So I'm going to quickly kind of trim this and maybe do a different video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So if I go into, I'm not gonna go too in depth with this video because there's just so much to cover. So I'm just gonna go over the basics of what you can find in this pack. So we have this video here and then this one, if you want to use a transition, just go over to the graphic pack transitions and then you're gonna have the, br uh, the brush transitions here. So you can do something like this, drag it in between two clips. Make sure though that you have enough room to do so. so now if I push play, it's gonna look like that, super, super cool. And you can also have, you know, overlay it with, some, with a title if you wanted to. Uh, but again, there's a bunch of different transitions. You have camera transitions, so you can do like a panning transition. That one looks really cool. You can do um, another one from that category. You can do this one here. If I push play, you have very, very simple kind of whoosh transitions, panning transitions. Now these would be, be really great for a music video for sure. Uh, if I go down, you have other camera transitions. You have different ones that, you know, have different movements. And then if I go to, you know, the very bottom here, there's 597 transitions. That is insane. So you have chromatic transitions. So these are pretty cool. These have kind of like a glitchy transition, as you can see here. So if you like that kind of effect, then you should definitely try out this pack. You're gonna see that we have backgrounds. So if you wanted to kind of create like a little recording of an iPhone screen, you can do that. That'd be kind of interesting if you wanna use this as a background. You can extend this, so this could go on for a very long time, as you can see. You can change the color of this, so you can do, maybe you don't like the, the whole yellow. You go onto the color wheel, you can change this to a different color. Maybe, you know, maybe like a more lighter blue, shade of blue. Uh, we have badges and titles, so maybe this one. That oh, looks pretty cool. So you can do something like this, and again, you can change the text. Just click on the badge or the in the timeline, 
and then you can hover over them to change what it says. So you have callouts here, you have um, really cool callout packs, or not packs, but like uh, elements that you can use. So these are pretty cool if you're trying to kind of, maybe like a racing video, this would be really cool to do. Again, you can customize this, I'm not gonna get too into it, but you can change the logo here by clicking on the drop zone. So if I do that, and I go back to where my profile picture is in the projects here, click on this image, click apply, now you can see my pretty little face here next to the Envato edit, uh, event here. So we can make this smaller now and my face fits just right, just like that. So scroll down, we have other ones here. We have the particles. These are more like neon ones a little bit. Scroll down, we have now a pop-up text. So you, you know, you have text that you can use. Scroll down, you have some sidebar kind of uh, little graphics that you can use. You have social media ones here, you have Facebook, you can do a desktop one. These, this one's actually pretty cool and interesting. So if I were to add another video here in the timeline, possibly this one here, and I drag it over here, you can actually add and change all of this, which is super cool. If you're trying to get more you know, followers or friends on Facebook, you can make this, you can change the banner to match your actual Facebook page, which is really cool. And I really like that, that they added that. I mean, you also have like WhatsApp, which is kind of, that is really cool. You can change the text. So like, let's say, hey, are you at the concert? You can change, hey, are you subscribed yet? I'm not sure if I spelled that right, but, and then you can also move this to the left. If I click on this, there we go. We can move it like that. And it's pretty cool. So you can do something like this, as you can see, you know, and they also have one for, I hope they have one for iMessage, but Let's see, we have Instagram Live. You can do Instagram Live one too, which is kind of neat. If we go into the generators, we have a bunch of gradients that you can use. These are just gonna be more just a still gradient, but you can do a lot of things. You can add like transitions to them if you wanted to. You can add elements on top of them. They're just there if you want to use pre-made gradients in case you don't want to make your own. That can take a lot of time and no one wants to do that, right? So. You have your gradients there. If you guys found this video helpful, I know I just went over it very, very quickly just to show you guys, you know, something kind of a, a little bit different and new uh, for, you know, Cyber Monday and Black Friday deals going on. So I kind of I kind of want to also share this with you. Um, so I'll only share with you guys packs and, and plugins that I, I personally think are interesting and worth the money. So uh, until then, I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace out.